Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda and I am an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit and the tarot and oracle cards in order to communicate energies as they sit today. This is a timeless reading and today's reading will be taking a look at your healing, your situation, anything that's holding you back, anything that needs to be healed and whatever spirit wants to communicate in order to help get you going, okay? So uh, interesting, this intro I <laughs> recorded like four times and I don't know, I, I have a feeling this is probably coming from pile number one. But um, anyway, if you're new to pick a cards, take a look at these three options. You'll be drawn to one pile here or one card and then you can select your pick in the description box below. There'll be the marked timestamp and in the pinned comment as well. So for your first option here, we have grappled as your first pick for pile number one. All right, so that's pile one. Pile number two is frightened. Right. And then for pick number three, we have exhaustion. So pick whichever one you are drawn to and I will see you at your timestamp. Hello, my beautiful souls who picked pile number one with this grappled card. Hopefully I didn't influence your decision with my comment there but um yeah normally um i don't have to re redo an intro a million times but it's feeling from this grapple card that there's a lot of energy coming through here for pile number one trying to obtain something or chase something or get a hold of something okay accomplish something a lot of effort so i already pre-shuffled these oracle cards i've not looked at them i just wanted to save time so we'll look at them together and yeah we'll get your cards all laid out and then we'll do the reading here oh we have iron okay mm. contingency We have the romantics affirmation. I allow romance to touch my heart every day. Beautiful. All right. Embrace your inner gypsy. Freedom, fun, and music. That's beautiful. Distraction. Retrograde review. Turn this over. And we got three cards from the tarot. We got the hermit. the nine of swords and we got the fool okay message coming through already wonderful pile number one all right so what i'm really feeling um what started with this grappled is i feel as though you've been really pushing forwards towards trying to obtain um, or ascertain something that you've been really focused in on, okay? And one thing about this iron card is that iron is one of the strongest metals used in building bridges um, because of its very tough um, composition. And when I see this iron, it's like an iron fist. It's like being very firm and very forceful. And I feel as though whatever it is that you're working on or have your mind fixed on is almost leaving not a lot of room for wiggle room, okay? And I feel as though this could potentially have you 
putting blinders on as far as what you might be missing out in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Okay, so when we're looking at energy here, what spirit is saying is that sometimes taking a pause or your foot off the brake allows for other energies to flow in that you might not consider if you're really like targeted or aiming in a certain direction that you feel is the right way or the only way, okay? And with this contingency, I'm really feeling like what spirit wants to tell us is that upon silencing the mind and getting our foot off the brake and maybe just reviewing things as they kind of sit here with retrograde, Okay, like really just things that have kind of um, merged from past situations and they're kind of sitting as they are to just take a look and not try to act right now will allow you to come up with the best plan as far as how to drive forward and what it is that you want to move forward. Okay, so... Um, with the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, and the Fool, I feel like there's almost this, this anxiety about if you were to let go or release your control of something that it would disappear or that it would somehow not be attainable anymore. So there's this anxious need to hang on and control. But what Spirit is saying is that by allowing yourself to not control a situation in such a way, maybe focus on lighter energies and really um, use this almost as a distraction from your current uh, stressors, I guess, because I have a feeling you've been really, really focused on this for quite some time and you can get quite... Um, Quite fixated and the only way that energy is going to allow this to shift is to release your grip in order for things to fall into place okay because the more you're chasing the more the energy is um yes the energy is not allowing things to enter or flow or shift in any sort of way because it's very iron it's very firm it's very thick so the distraction will be, you know, whatever you embrace as your inner gypsy. So here it says freedom, fun, music, going out with friends this is giving you three of cups. So celebrations, networking, and maybe even, um, you know, reaching out to old friends here with retrograde and trying to maybe distract the mind of what it's currently really fixated and focused on. And then spirit is giving us this, this hint or this um yeah letting us know that there's this contingency in the works here that needs to kind of bubble up but it's not allowed to happen here because of the fact that we're so um controlled in such an area that won't allow this to take place okay now we see here with the romantics i allow romance to touch my heart every day it could very well be that your heart is very fixated on a certain goal, a certain thing you've been trying to really uh, obtain or control or guide in such a way that doesn't allow the heart to be open to this contingency that's coming in that spirit wants you to know that will allow you to start in a new way, in a completely new way down a direction that is meant for you and that is right around the corner for you but I guess the healing here would be focusing on how tightly we're hanging on to something and how fixated and firm we are about something and not allowing ourselves to maybe enjoy and get distracted in the moment um, rather than fixating on an area Okay, with the hermit to um, with the hermit too, and there being this heavy nine of swords energy around it, it's almost like there's this fear if you go inwards or aren't externally putting out energy 
like I said, that there might be something to lose or that something you've been trying to hang on to or chase or capture or um, build will never happen. And because of this, we're not allowing energy to flow in in order for there to be a new beginning in this area. Okay, so let's take a look at what advice here Spirit wants to communicate regarding your situation and what you can kind of do or what Spirit wants to further clarify. Okay, let's take this one. Penguin, pace yourself. Specially sensation. Special specialization. Wow, that's a word. Choosing what matters. Affirmation. I commit, connect, and create. All right. You are healing your relationship to conscious mothering and finding creative ways to express the mother energy within. Whether there are children around you or not, you have a talent and higher purpose that you can develop if you so choose. Trust that any sacrifices made for the soul expression will be worth it. Upgrade old fantasies to more authentic dreams and aspirations that feed your soul now. Focus on what matters most to your heart. Embrace the depths within your soul. Give yourself permission to commit totally to your higher purpose and you will make exceptional progress. So yeah, there is this choosing what matters. And I feel like maybe we got lost in a chase or we got fixated on a control or some sort of fixation here that was very firm and what spirit is wanting is with the pace yourself focusing on what matters allowing your heart to open right because we had here allowing romance to touch my heart every day it's like the the creation in which brings you joy brings you celebration will allow for this distraction so that this contingency plan that spirit has for you can come in now I do feel like there is an emphasis on reviewing maybe something from the past here or giving a little bit more um, introspection, some, some aspect of past situations because I feel like there is a need to really review past situations and energies in order to maybe gain a bit better of a perspective because now we have this blind pursuit or this blind chase that's become the focus rather than what's going on um yeah and i love that trust any sacrifices made for that soul expression will be worth it and i totally feel like you know there's this blind pursuit or chase towards something that now has shifted really what matters most which i think was the end game for your whole reasoning behind this but spirit has another plan in place for you to attain this you just need to allow for this contingency plan to take place and silence what's going on and that energy that you're exerting in order to receive energy that's coming in for there to be a shift and yeah i don't know why there's such heavy anxiety with this nine of swords in doing so maybe you feel as though the end game um you'd lose and it'd never come again but i'm really feeling here with allowing for this distraction to let your mind kind of maybe focus on what has happened and allow yourself to enjoy um things to happen to you rather than controlling what's what's going on will allow this energy to flow into your life okay so i see that pretty clear as a message for you guys um hopefully this resonated i think maybe you might want to go check out pile three at some point i don't know why i feel they may be connected but um hopefully this helped and we will see you soon bye guys hello beautiful souls who chose pile number two with this frightened card you pick pile number two this is your reading all right i have pre-shuffled picked your oracle card so we'll lay these out and see what spirit wants to communicate now this is a message for your healing in order to help shift you forward anything that might be holding you back 
uh, or what you need to know regarding your situation in order to free yourself to move forward. So we have uh, laugh and have fun, smile, positive energy, joyfulness. The Queen of Pentacles. We got the Star. We got the Emperor. Wow, very powerful. Two major arcana here with the Tarot. We got the Solar Calm. Should I put that there? We got Illusion. And we got. The independence affirmation. I am aware of my inner dialogue and direct it by positive imagery. Hmm. Globe of invulnerability. Ooh. Interesting. And fog. Okay. Yeah, this message is coming in clear as well for you guys. Pile number two. All right. So what spirit is communicating? I mean, with the frightened, there is this fear that's greater than what is actually around you. And I feel like potentially the inner dialogue might be what's causing some of this fear of a situation that you are involved with okay so potentially the fear is um, of what could happen or of past situations that have happened that might repeat themselves in such a way that might compromise what it is that you're um, really wanting to happen okay and I feel like you're almost at the point of not even being able to um, progress at all and I feel like it's bringing in more of what it is that you don't want okay so the inner dialogue and I'm a big believer of um the law of attraction okay and the law of assumption and I feel here like there's this energy of maybe creating stories in such a way that makes us feel like the worst could happen in a situation of the unknown in an area that we're trying to gain for ourselves. Okay. Now I feel like this area is something that you're really working on as far as, um, to help build your stability, but it's also a wish that you really feel like, um, is out of your control. Okay. You feel like maybe there's one other person that has more control in this situation than you have. Spirit is saying this is an illusion, okay? Because um, we have the fog, we have the illusion here, and potentially there is a little bit of inner dialogue that we're telling ourselves of with this. Um, I am aware of my inner dialogue and direct my positive imagery so that what Spirit is saying is that if we're envisioning ourselves being more in control of a situation, we are able to attain that, you know, and with the stars, the wish is coming true and getting one's wish here. I feel like the wish here would be to, um, you know, really be fruitful in what it is that you desire. And there might be this fear that someone else has control or that the control is coming from the outside. Uh, outside circumstances might be more in control. Okay, with the solar calm here, talking about clarify, I feel like there are, there's a point of inner quietness and inner review that hits a point where then action needs to take place. And I feel like you've been in your state of silence and inner reflection for quite some time where spirit is saying, now, you know, now would be the time for you to move forward, despite maybe thinking that things are unclear or that someone else has control of the situation or whatever it is that you've been telling yourself and that you may feel as though you, you have fog around you and you're getting more in your head about things, right? And you're kind of now frozen 
Um, but what you're bringing into yourself with this globe of invulnerability, I feel like you're bringing in more of this energy that's saying this will not happen or this cannot take place because it is out of your control or that others have more control or what have you, okay? And I feel like with the positive energy here, it really speaks to that law of attraction, that inner dialogue, the... This is more confirmation from spirit telling you that whatever fears you have around what you think is going on or what is compromising a situation or what could potentially go wrong is just an illusion. It is just your own mental dialogue because I feel you've been past the point now of sitting and contemplating and clarifying that now we're just mentally exerting ourselves, instilling fear and bringing in some energy that isn't quite helping the situation okay so laugh and have fun positive energy being able to change the vibration of energy so that you're able to go after what it is that you want and the queen of pentacles to speak of this you know like i said stability and this abundance queen of pentacles is very abundant and speaks of work-life balance and being able to have that balance um which i feel has been a little out of whack. I feel like you've been held back and frozen in some sort of way, like someone else is coming in to dictate where your happiness may lie or where this may go or how you may ob obtain your goal or your what it is that you want to obtain is being driven by some external force. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like it's someone else. Okay, and I don't know if this person is just you know, um, being a bully or if inside your mind you're creating something that is giving this person more power than they actually have. And the more you're feeding that energy, the more you're pulling that in towards you. Okay, but confirmation for you guys, this is an illusion. Watch the inner dialogue, bring in that positive energy. And I feel like the fog that you might be seeing um, will be lifted once you're able to bring in the positive energy in order for you to release yourself from maybe being too frightened to say something, too frightened to act, too frightened to take a first step in a direction that um, is going to help get you closer to your abundance here. Okay, so let's pick um, a card of guidance here from Spirit. What does Spirit want to communicate to pile number two regarding their situation to help navigate through this? Thank you so much, Spirit. Ooh, Flamingo. All right. Authenticity, nourishment, individuality. Ooh, nourishment. Definitely with this Queen of Pentacles. My beauty is unique and inspirational. All right. So give yourself permission to find your own way to live. If you do not feel like you can be your authentic self, check what influences you have allowed into your mind and into your life. Do you need to change your spiritual diet in some way so that you are taking a more, uh, taking in more physical? Oh, okay, that made no sense to me. Do you need to change your spiritual diet in some way so that you are taking in more physical, emotional, and or mental nourishment? nourishment? Don't be afraid to show your true colors. When you allow the real you to be seen, others will be able to recognize your beauty and grace. Don't hide yourself or deny yourself what you need to flourish including a wild and free heart. Ooh, so more clarity here. Maybe you're too scared to let your true colors shine to be your authentic self. We're allowing maybe, you know, external um, people, situations to dictate what it is that we're allowed to and not allowed to do. And Spirit is giving you this permission to be your own individual self, to show your unique beauty, to be authentic and stand in your beauty and grace, to recognize that you are free spirit and that this is all just an illusion. The inner dialogue is really what's driving a lot of this. So if the message here, um, the only message here you wanna take away from Spirit would be Watch how you are talking to yourself and that you actually have a lot more control over your uh, individuality of this situation to stand in your authentic self than maybe you're allowing others to um, have or at least you're thinking others have in your situation. All right. 
So I wish you guys the very, very best. Hopefully this resonated with someone. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Leave a like, leave a comment, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Hello, my beautiful pile number three. If you pick this card of exhaustion, then pile number three, this is your reading. All right, so we'll be asking Spirit um, to take a look at an area that needs healing, maybe where you're getting stalled out in your situation, and just a word of advice and guidance to help move forward if you're stuck in a situation. Now, I pre-shuffled these Oracle cards. I've not looked at them, so we'll look at them together and see what message Spirit has. So we have respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, and relax. Ooh, okay. Message coming through already here for pile number three. Mimi Cry. Mm. The patient. I can endure whatever twists and turns life brings me. Mm. Planner Alley Conjuration. Okay. Very cool. We've got two cards here from the Alchemist. Mystical Sister. Hmm. And the great work. Ooh, all right. Now we got conjunction, alliance. Very strong message here for you guys, pile number three. Now we got three tarot cards. We got the three of cups. Yes. We got the seven of wands. And we got the Six of Swords. All right. Pile number three. You're going through some challenges right now, okay? So there is a situation right now that you are definitely feeling run down from. For some of you guys, it might be... You're just very, very tired, okay? It could very well be um, an addiction. It could very well be a period in your life where you feel like you've you're stuck in a loop or a situation that you can't really break free from your it could even be social media it could very well be something where your mind is being sucked dry of um, any sort of energy you're feeling very exhausted okay and you feel alone and you feel alone because maybe it is difficult for you to open up or express or communicate to others how, how you're experiencing the situation in your life right now, okay? But all these cards that I'm seeing here all speak to being able to work with others, communicate with others, let others in in order to help you. This mystical sister really speaks of that best friend, um, that person who really um, is there for you, that you trust, that's able to help. And with this great work, it's like building or planting, I should say, that garden one step at a time, okay? And I feel like you've been trying to go it alone, almost to the point where you're not yeah, you're not really allowing others in because you're thinking that you have to struggle alone or you have to figure it out alone. Spirit is saying there is um, there is guidance here from Spirit, okay? There's guidance from Spirit, but what Spirit wants you to do is to ask your Spirit guides, to ask Spirit, to ask God, uh, prayer, however it is that you ask, um, close friend in order to help you in some sort of capacity if you can't outright ask a friend or a person in this physical 3d to pray uh, to send out uh, intention to your spirit guide as far as wanting assistance to allow yourself to break free from this um rut okay because i really see it's like a, a rut and i feel like maybe you're 
afraid that you'll be judged or that for somehow, yeah, you got to figure things out on your own. And spirit is saying no. And spirit's also confirming maybe for some of you guys, there's a fear of losing self in something that you're trying to control in such a way that you don't lose yourself. And if you allow others in to help you, that you might lose some part of yourself that spirit is saying no it is growing that side of yourself bit by bit the more you allow you allow others in there's a need to rejuvenate and pull away and really respect your um your body i feel like this could be for some of you guys maybe you know unhealthy diet um drinking um like i said could be any sort of addiction could be mind detox as well and you've been really defensive and trying to maybe block any sort of assistance from others when it comes to others and letting others in or allowing others to kind of really help um help in any way and when i say help it's like be there to listen to you be there to provide um, an ear or just to listen to you. I feel as though you potentially think you might be judged or that others might not care or want to listen to you or, you know, you, you'll be mocked or um, made fun of in some sort of way. But there is this need to move away from that line of thinking because yeah, there's really this this exhaustion that's kind of encompassing you. And if you find you're like, have no energy, you want to just sleep or sit there and do nothing or whatever you're feeling in a rut, kind of almost like I'm feeling this depression, um, it's your body telling you that it's time to rejuvenate. It's time to do detox. It's time to connect with other people, even though when you are tired, the last thing you want to do is connect with others. But spirit saying to pray to, you know, if you can't reach out to someone to pray for this um, assistance, to pray for that um, guiding body that can come in to help you. But when this, you know, this mystical sister, this friend, this angel spirit, this person enters your life to be open, because I feel like maybe there is this side of you that is very defensive and shutting people out and maybe losing yourself in something in some sort of way or losing a part of yourself that maybe feels like you can't ask for help or you got to do it alone and that's not the case okay so in order to move away from this you need to allow that person that you trust okay and you'll know who this person is to come in to facilitate and help listen help guide you maybe inspire you spark you uh, um, to move towards what your body needs and your mind needs to free yourself and it is freeing okay so let's see what else spirit wants to communicate here to you what more advice spirit for pile number three regarding their situation here can we give them a card of advice what do we want to communicate to pile number three? This one here. Falcon. Ooh. Commitment, instinct, and boldness. Affirmation. Ooh. I am totally committed and focused upon my goal. All right. I love that. So it says, you are more skillful than you give yourself credit for, but you will only realize your abilities and develop them further by putting yourself to the test step up act and go for it with gusto believe that you can handle yourself and any situation that arises change your mind on your direction without hesitation based on what your intuition is telling you at any moment you will achieve when you head straight for the goal as an emblem of success falcon heralds a victory so commit yourself wholeheartedly and do not give up until you get to where you want to go Wow. Okay. So maybe you guys feel a little bit exhausted in even trying to attain something. And maybe some of you guys have given up. I feel like there is help coming in from someone that wants to help you, that you trust, that will allow you to 
maybe gain better focus in a direction, but you need to commit yourself to this goal. You know, you need to be really dedicated. And if there is addiction, if there is a need to detox and rejuvenate, or even just to allow yourself to um, stick to a plan, what this falcon is saying is, yes, be totally committed and stay focused wholeheartedly so that you're able to get through this period, okay? And will help to move away with the Six of Swords from any of this mental thought. I feel like there's a lot of mental exhaustion as well as physical body exhaustion. I feel like you're just roundabout, just completely tired. But um, yeah, use the power of prayer. Um, allow others to come in. And this is most likely going to be planting one seed at a time in your garden of what you need. I don't feel it's going to be something that just turns overnight. But I do feel like there is a little bit of defensiveness and resistance Okay, so be bold, commit yourself to this, no matter how awkward or how, yeah, awkward or how out of line you might feel of stepping away from what you've told yourself here. I can endure whatever twists and turns life brings to me. We know you can, but I feel like you feel you have to do it solo. And um, Spirit is saying you can, but this is a point where allowing someone in will help to facilitate that and then and then with the conjunction here being able to break away when it's time for you to stand on your own two feet do not feel like you will be enmeshed um you know with uh with whomever you're allowing to help you i feel like there's this um fear that there might be this codependency on another or losing self in another and spirit is saying that's not the case it is allowing, you know, this, this um, blessing to get you to stand bold and be firm so that you're able to move forward once you're rejuvenated and not feeling this exhaustion. Okay, so take this as confirmation from spirit. Um, and I wish you guys all the very, very best. Bless you so much. Leave a comment, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.